presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Alan Homosassa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Ruth and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks, and happy Memorial Day. Let's make it a nice one and a safe one. You are what you believe you are. I love this card, man. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. Everything's right inside us, folks. Grab it and run with it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 452. NASDAQ is up 348. S&P's up 87. Gold contract trading up $3.90 at 18.57 an ounce. We get silver up 17 cents, 22 dollars 13 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 75 cents, 114 dollars 85 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down two ticks, 127.17. The 30-year up 11 at 142.01 and King dollar. King dollar's down 167 ticks, trading at 101.662. Euro out here at a price point of 107. Yen 127. The British pound 126 to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a classic, man. Coming into the holiday, you get a pop, and each day this volume just keeps contracting. You know, bottom line, if we look at, you know, Wednesday, you have volume of ninety-one million to spy. Yesterday, eighty-two. We're at fifty-one. You'll probably get maybe sixty-five. Um, that being said, but you know, this thing can bounce further. Um, we're at 414. You get, you get a little nice swing point that's laying out here at 429. And you're at 413. So it looks to me like that, that baby could actually get there. Now, this is how this sets up calendar wise, folks. What you have calendar wise is that we're off Monday, window dressing's Tuesday and Wednesday. So, you know, you can get a little more traction. Uh, on the way up. We'll see whether it can hold. Now, that being said, <laughs> if I put this, first I put this on a weekly. On a weekly, you can see that you're still down on volume. You're getting up on lighter volume. That could be setting up another B to C of an ABC structure down. And then when you put this on a monthly, this one here is a whole different animal, man. When I put this on a monthly, this lays to me, when you get a doji in the middle of a downtrend, you know, you can make the argument when you get a doji that that's the, the bottom. You can, that, that argument's valid for sure. My take here, though, you can see the volume already expanded. So to me, what ends up happening is that number one, the low has got to be tested. That's 380. You know, because you can see that just popped. That being said, though, if we take the top of this, the 479, you know, down to the 380, the bottom line, you get 100 bucks. Is that okay? That's the, is that the halfway move? It very well could be because it looks to me that uh, 339 is game. 339 uh, is the right where we started the pandemic. That's how this thing looks to me. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. Now, you're going to get, it looks to me like you probably should get the volume in the NDX today. Not the volume, but I don't think you're going to get a contraction. Because on Tuesday, we did 67 million. 
Yesterday you did four, yesterday you did 59. Well, we're at 49. And if this can <laughs> this better do 10 million shares at the close. Uh, you know, I, I suspect that's going to. Uh, the Qs, the Qs right now are 308. This can bounce to 317 pretty easily. The same spike that's applicable inside of the SPY, uh, the Qs have that spike at 330. So 330 is actually game. Gold, gold contract out here, bottom line. You know, gold's going to need a lot more conviction. There's no two ways about that. What, you have, what we have with the gold market is, you know, you're up 370. You get 29,000 contracts. That's nothing. Uh, that being said, you know, this could be set up an ABC structure in the way up. You get the first leg that's done. We'll see how, how long the, you bounce all over the place on the B to C leg. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar, folks, bottom line, you know, it, it went up over the highs. Couldn't hold price. Pull down, you know, off the highs. And we take this. First, we put this on a weekly. You're going to see... It's pretty clear that we go back inside this 102.979, we're at 101.662, that's on the weekly. We put this on a monthly, and what you're going to see here is that you launched the last two highs, and then bottom line, you gave it up. And when you launch that, you, know, you can't bust them up, guess what? It's going to go bust them down. This can, this can take you know, a year and a half, two years, but it looks to me like 89 is game on the way down now. You know, you can see this, this consolidation inside the dollar started in 2015. And uh, it's been basically going between the 89 and the 103 area since then. Some of the other higher volume equities out here, and this will be a low volume market. You get uh, Advanced Micros up three and a half dollars. You get NVIDIA up nine. We'll pull a few of these up too. You get, uh, let's see, Tes Tesla's up 49. Roblox, Roblox is up uh, a buck. Occidental's up 243. So let's go inside the NDX 100 and see the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Strength inside the NDX is that Z scaler? Yeah, Z scaler. That came out with numbers last night. That's up 14%. Uh, Pindoodoo is up 12. Autodesk is up at 9.5. Taken away from it. Workday, they come out with numbers too. That's down 5%. You get. Uh, Curing Dr. Pepper off 1%. Other than that, it's looking pretty good. Dow, Dow Industrials. Let's see the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials. Whoops, one second, Dow. There we go. Okay, we pull this Dow Industrials up. We take a look at the move. Oh, look at that. Every single Dow stock is positive, folks. The leader out here today is Microsoft. That's putting 37 positive points. You get Apple putting five, five Visa four, uh, America Express three. The lowest one out here would be uh, uh, Verizon. Verizon's uh, putting one point in. Coke's putting 1.7 points in. Merck is putting 1.8 points in. So uh, bottom line is that uh, all these indices, you know, <laughs> if this, this is just such a classic, folks. It's amazing, meaning that you've been going down, coming into a holiday, you go up on light volume, we go into window dressing, and then guess what? Then you get a market again. The thing is going to be really intriguing. This is, of course, the first weekend uh, you know, of, quote, the summer. Stay right there, folks. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational 
as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 453. We get the Nasdaq up 347. S&P's up 86. So let's talk a little bit about uh, cash, about numbers in general. Uh, and we're going we're gonna to go right to what you, I, and the rest of the consumers in the good old USA do every day. And what is that? That is spending, folks. Okay. So the spending numbers come out here. And this is where, this is, you know what's so intriguing, folks, like um, reading a lot of these articles, where a lot of these writers are missing, like, in a monster way, is that, so let's picture, let's picture you have $100, right? And if you, you know, you'd say we, you know, you have inflation over the course of years, 20%, 25%, whatever it is. Well, the bottom line is that everyone raises their prices and it's $120, right? So when you have sales coming in, well, the bottom line is that it seems to me that all these articles, no one's taken um, in the correlation that you should have higher numbers, man. And if you don't have higher numbers, the way it should happen, you should be looking at it and say, okay, if you know inflation is running at this point, well, let's add or subtract that number and see where we're at. Well, these numbers that came out this morning, consumer spending, this is how it goes, right? The big you know, news of the day was that consumer spending rose in April the most in three months, okay? Helping push, of course, the S&P, you know, up. My, my take is that it was going up anyway. It was a bounce, okay? But th that's, that's the first glance of it, right? So we had the data come out today, right? So it showed purchases and services went up seven-tenths of 1% in April from March, over the past year, only a 1.5% gain in January was bigger. Now, the real question is, is that, okay, what does that mean? Well, when they say, and what they do do is this, they adjust for higher prices. But, <laughs> but if you believe the government numbers adjusting for anything, folks, it's not even close. My, my take is that everything really has kind of gone up 30%. That's what it seems like across the board. But here's a number that you want to wrap your head around. 
Because picture it, you get the pandemic, you get money that's come in, you get money that we haven't spent, and then you know the great breakout has been happening for what? I don't know, six or seven months at least, right? Well, the savings rate, okay, the personal savings rate, right, which was astronomical, by the way, during the pandemic and after the pandemic, okay, dropped below 5%, and that's the first time since 2009 that would be below 5%. So when I look at that, I'm saying to myself, you know what, man, what we have here is that, you know, you have your little kitty, you know, you go into your kitty, you go into your kitty, and then all of a sudden the kitty's gone, man. It's like, okay, when, when the kitty's gone, what has to happen next? Well, then you got to go get a job, you know. I'm, I'm correlating back when you're young probably, but we, we all do the same thing. I mean, that, that's the reality. This is a, over and over. Those numbers, folks, okay, uh, tell quite a, a story. And that story, uh, to me, is, is the aspect of um, there's a lot less money, there's a lot less wealth because of what has happened in the equity market in general, okay? So the, the bottom line is that you had, you know, equity prices go down, bond prices go down, uh, real estate prices are ready to go down. You know, they're still staying steady, but I can tell you from the aspect of um, when you take a look so there's a couple of, well, anecdotally, to me, I'm on the street so much that, you know, these things haven't cracked yet. That's for sure. What has cracked, are a few of them, do you know what I mean, you can pick up in a good way. But it hasn't cracked in the overall market, okay? I expect you're going to see that crack. The, the thing that when you take, when you take a look at, where we're at though, there's less money everywhere. And the savings rate, it seems to me, that, that savings rate, that's something you better pay attention to, man. <laughs> you know, because the bottom line inside that savings rate, uh, that's what it comes down to, man. I mean, you know, if you, if you have no more savings, uh, what are you gonna do, you know? Let's go to uh, Dave in Chicago. Hey, Dave, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man, yourself? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. I, uh, you know, I've I've called in before. About, I know. Uh, I, listen, man, I check your stock every day. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 I got in trouble because I didn't listen to you the, the first two times, and and we're back up. I think getting close to highs again, and I didn't. You are. Uh, I, I, I'll never call you again if I don't get it right this time. No, no, no. I want you to call me. But you know, you know, it's so funny. Well, you know, it's, there's, there's a couple of things. I really do check your stock every day. But see, I love, I traded the oil stocks for so long because I love how they consolidate. Do you know what I mean? I, bought, mm -hmm. I actually bought my first uh, SL500 on like buying, I think I bought 40,000 shares of uh, one of the, the um, I think it was, I think it's, I, I think I went from, what was it? It was drip. No, it wasn't drip at that point. I forget. I was, I went bullish, then I went bearish. But anyway, so I, 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 I like, the, I like to trade. I, I like these, uh, you know, oil stocks. Okay, so let's take a look at it. So, we take this on a daily. Yeah. So now the question is, do you wait till? See, you know, it's interesting here. I know. I said, "Oh my God!" You didn't. The test came up again. So what happens here? You see that that volume came in yesterday, man. That's interesting. Hold. Let's do the weekly. Let's see what we're doing with the weekly here. So I put a yearly weekly up. Last time you were up here with 5.9 million. You're coming up with 3.8. The first one was 12 million. Yeah, this is a. So let me ask you this, right? Mm -hmm. If, like, do you use stops at all? I'm sorry, do I? Do uh, you, no, I don't. Okay. I don't. I have not used stops. Okay. I, no, that's all right. I'm just curious. Um, because, see, what happens I've is this. Like whenever I use them, I get, uh, well, whenever I've used them, I always feel like I get stopped out, you know? I agree. You Listen, know? man, everyone feels the same way, man. I mean, yeah. it blows my mind sometimes that, and, and you know, folks, I, I don't think this is done like this, but sometimes I think that, that yeah, they, they know every trade is something because it blows my mind when you get stopped out right to the penny. It's like, are you kidding me, man? Um, yeah. 
This is a tough one, man, right now. And, and this is what it is, is that I always like it when volume comes in. And volume came in yesterday, okay? And, you know, like, yeah, your high swing out here is 1.1 million, and we did 1.1 yesterday. What I, this is what I do. Hang, just hang there, stay there, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then that test of that high at 312, right? Mm -hmm. um, you just want to make sure that on Tuesday and Wednesday, you have volume behind the move. Right. And if you don't have volume behind the move, sell it. Okay. You know, and listen, man, I, I'll, you, you call me, uh, but I'll, I'll talk about it on the air on Tuesday, too. I'm going to write it down right now. take advantage of this, right, now man. is the time to subscribe. Have a to good one, man. Have a great the Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 509. The NASDAQ is up 360. S&Ps are up 91. Ramp it up, baby. Yabba dabba do. Here we go. <laughs> that gives, uh, let's see what we got here. We have... Uh, the Nasdaq up 3.08 percent. The uh, S&P is up uh, 2.1, and the Dow Industrials up uh, 1.5. Okay, you get some uh, decent numbers out here. There's no doubt about it. Now let's go take a look at uh, the big dogs. Let's see if they have any volume inside. And we take a look at Amazon first. Amazon right now, yeah, it's a contraction. Man, look at this contraction. This is crazy. Yeah, you get a big contraction. Yesterday we did uh, 4.6 million or 3.4. Uh, you know, yeah, Google, let's go take a look at Google out here. Same deal. I mean, this is a classic. Look, look at this. Little classic. So Wednesday, 1.8 million. Yesterday, 1.5. And today will be like 1.1, 1.2. And let's go to Microsoft because Microsoft, the thing with Microsoft, you know, is just so intriguing. Microsoft was the strongest stock 
all the way up uh, inside the NDX. And Microsoft gets the same deal. Wednesday at 28 million, Thursday 25 million, today you're going to do 20, you're at 17 million right now. So, um, problem child. NVDA, NVIDIA. Now this equity here, I mean, this is, this, this is how this equity is always traded anyway. I mean, up, down, all around. Um, and, you know, it came in yesterday with some really nice volume, though. So NVIDIA is something that you're going to want to watch. Let's bring this back, put this on a monthly first. So, yeah, you definitely want to watch NVIDIA, and this is why. So look, look at this, folks, okay? You see, the, when, when and NVIDIA did a breakout uh, at 159, this was a June of 2021, so about a year ago, right? Uh, almost exactly a year ago. The low there was 159. We had a low here of 155. And, you know, bottom line, you know, the high was 346. Um, yeah, you know what the problem is, though? Look at that. The problem is, is this tested with too much volume. 1.3 million. Yeah, I would, you know, you can day trade this, but don't get married to this thing. Let me put this on a weekly again. So on a weekly... A nice setup on a weekly. Okay, I see. So you're at 188. Yeah, this can bounce to 208. That's kind of a setup. If, you, if you're trading this thing, 208 is a structure that you're going to get some real flack at. And when I just related to you the real problem with NVIDIA there is that when it came down to test the breakout area from June of last year, the bottom line it has way too much volume. You know, and when that happens, you'll come back down, you'll test it, and we'll see whether you reject it. Some of these that have got, so what tends to happen in large corrections is this. Some stocks are going to get out faster than other stocks. If you get the test and rejection quicker, uh, that's a good scene, okay? In 2008, the first equity, you know, off was Amazon. Amazon was off the races approximately six months before anything else. Let's go to Rich in Oregon. Rich, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. How you been, man? And it's, it's going to be a good Memorial Day weekend. Hopefully, America will wake up. Yeah, slightly. Anyway, I wanted to ask about CNX. CNX? Correct. Okay, let's take a look. What is your chart showing you? Okay, so this operates National Gas Exploration and Production Company. Let's take a look here. Okay, so they take in plenty of money. They're taking one point six billion. Okay, so let's put this on it's approaching its last swing high. Put this on a weekly. I'm going to put it on a monthly. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, you can see, Rich, as you're looking at the... charts right here, this has a massive supply line right here. And you're just coming into it. Um, let me do this. Let me go NG. Just look at this natural gas contract. Because when I looked at this yesterday, it almost looked like this was topping out on a shorter term basis, but it looked like it was topping out. Okay, so you got a NG1. One second. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this. I'm putting this onto a continuous contract just so I can get a better inclination as to how, what this is doing. So this had a major, okay. major run, no doubt five months we've gone from 360 BTU to 865. Wow. Oh, NG, NGA. Now NG1, let's try that. NG1. There we go. Sorry it's taking so long. Let me get this. No. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay, so let's see where we are on this setup. 
Okay, so I'm bringing this back 15 years in a monthly, folks, okay? Uh, wow. Yeah, I know. Isn't that wild? Wow. I know. This is quite a chart. It is quite a chart, man. You know, and you know what's so funny is that I haven't traded natural gas on this run up, but that last run that you're seeing, I traded it. Um, and it was quite a run, man. I mean, the, and also, of course, in the futures market, the margin was huge, too. Okay, so, man, so this is saying that this thing is still going to $13. Okay, so let's go back to CNX again. You know, on, I, the way natural gas sets up, folks, okay, the next swing point is 13-something. So it's like, oh, that, that can happen. So wow. what I do, I kind of stay right there. I mean, this looks, this hasn't tested that high yet of that... Uh, 2333. You know, I like what. So yeah. You wouldn't sell out of it here right now. Well, I don't like what happened this week, okay? But now this is what's cool, folks, okay? Watch how this works. I talk about this actually a lot, you know, because what has happened, I think we're in a market that wants to go down. So now what happens this week is that you're going up and you have a contraction of volume, okay? So that is very bearish. Now, this is just the right. opposite. You can see. You know, we went up last week and it has volume behind it. You know, it, we have uh, out here, Rich has had, had 4.1 million. The week before it went up, it had 4 million. This week, you went sideways. You didn't get near the highs and you only did 1.7. That's what you want to do when you have a bullish position. You know, you got, it, this didn't go after the highs. This just went, you know, sideways. Inside, it was inside week all week, basically. So I think you'll get that test, man. And I mean, you know the okay. testing procedure. You know what I mean? Twenty-three, thirty-three is game. And if it breaks it, then you get some action, man. Okay. Well, I was drawn to it because of some fundamentals, and I know fundamentals don't always add up to a gain for you in a market, uh, especially when it's erratic and volatile like this one is. But uh, I just thought it looked like it still had some gas. Right. Uh, pardon the pun. Well, what's so cool about what you said, I love it when I have some fundamentals behind a trade and then technically it looks like it has some gas, just as you said. That's that's the coolest trade, man. I mean, that's because you're, you're a much stronger hand also because you understand the fundamentals of it. So have a great weekend, a safe weekend, Rich. All right. Thanks again. Tom. Thanks, man. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 454. You get the NASDAQ up at 347. S&Ps are up uh, 86. So let's get over and take a look at uh, the good old cannabis market, folks. Um, so you got canopy growth hitting a low today, $4.60. The high is 26 for the year. They come out with the numbers. Now, look at these numbers, man. This is like pretty wild, man. This is, this is you know, it looks to me like, you know, uh, this is probably the best of the breed, too. But watch this number. Okay, so they missed their revenue estimates, right? Net revenue is 118 million. The estimate was 136 million. Look at the loss, man. I mean, the loss, okay? The estimated loss was 65 million. Well, the, the, this is all in Canadian, excuse me, folks, Canadian dollars. The loss was 121 million. So picture this. You make a net revenue, you have, yeah. Well, I don't know how they say net revenue. Okay, revenue is 111 million. And then you lose 121 million on 111 million. That, folks, is a huge problem. <laughs> I mean, that is like sad. Um, it's unbelievable, actually, you know. And the real question is going to be, you know, when does it, you know, they're, they're waiting. I mean, they're, their business is in Canada. That's one of the problems, okay, because, you know, Canada's a great, you know, country, but the bottom line is it's a very small country compared to the United States. Um, yeah, this chart is just, uh, you know, we take a look at this, we go back to 20, oh my God, you go back to, yeah, that's February of 2021, it was at $56. This can get down to three bucks, 309, hard to believe, man, but that's exactly where it can go to. Um, you know, that's, I suspect, you know, you, you have Constellation, STX. So if we go look at uh, Constellation, they have Constellation behind it, okay? No, that's not, a, STZ it must be, STZ. So Constellation Brands, they are a powerhouse. There's no two ways about that. They own 50% of, they take in 8.8 uh, .8 billion this year. They take, they're looking to take in 9.8 next year. Uh, so they can keep that alive, but you know, you know, Tommy was talking about this this morning too. Is that you know the bottom line is that depending which state you're in in the United States, um, you know, they call weed uh, a weed, right? <laughs> they call marijuana a weed. That's because it's so easy to grow. It grows like a weed, you know. So bottom line, I suspect uh, that's going to be a lot harder business than folks actually thought it was. You know, I'm not sure about the how the retail works meaning because in florida what ends up happening is that they have it medical and the way it works is that this is basically and i'm sure this has happened in a lot of states it was an inside deal that in florida what you had you had to have you had to be the nursery the grower the retailer so i can imagine in florida you know those companies are making some money because guess what you're the grower you're the retailer and then the state's taking it's it's cut um you know in massachusetts everyone can i think it's six plants well if you smoke pot why wouldn't you do six plants man <laughs> i mean give me a break that ain't even close it'd be fun that that never mind just you know doing it saving money it'd be fun 
877-927-6648. Let's go look at this uh, I, small caps first, then we'll take a look at the uh, IWM, I mean the Dow Industrials. So small caps out here, same setup, man. You know, they got traction, but same setup. You get it. Wednesday, 27 million. Yesterday, 25. Today, you're going to do like 23. Put this on a, long, a longer chart. Put it on a monthly. Yeah, so can't come back to... Now, see, you know what's interesting about this one? So check this out. Yeah, I'm glad I brought this up. So what the IWM did, and this is, you want to keep your eye on this IWM. 173 was the big, you know, was before the pandemic. Or that was just right in February. And we had come back to 168 and rejected it. So this could, this could get interesting, meaning that you could be building cars all around here. Because my take is that the end, this is where the indices are actually going to go back to. And they haven't made that yet. Let's go take a look at the silver market for a couple of the uh, tigers out here. Uh, the active silver market right now is trading up 14, 22.10. Put this, there it is. Oh, this is nice today. This is some volume, man. Okay. 36. You almost get a small ABC up. Yeah, you do. Now, okay, so check it out, man. You get a small ABC up. 22, 21. Let me see this. Not bad. It's two bucks. That's uh, 2364. You're at 20. Uh, now, this is really impressive. The reason this is so impressive, man, is that because what you have is that we know that you don't have any volume in these markets, but yet the silver contract got volume, you know. And it's not a lot, but because there's not a lot, it, it basically could also take out the last swing, which was 32,000. <coughs> the swing prior to that was 41. So it's, it's a little tricky, but the bottom line is that that's saying it wants to go higher. And I expect what you're going to see, because the dollar, you know, is basically giving it up, um, you're going to see a lot of these basically start to go higher. The thing that's going to be really intriguing is this, is that, so picture, let's go look at the oil market, because what we've had is that oil has had an extraordinary run, and the mind blower, though, is the aspect that we've had such a strong dollar, and oil's this high. Now, if the dollar backs off, which I think it's going to, that's just, cause that's just saying, man, oil's going to go higher. Yeah, this oil market wants to hit 116. Let me see this, CL1, Wow. And, of course, uh, Teddy Kegstad, who's on with Tommy on Wednesdays, you know, he's nailed this market, like, beyond belief. Yeah, look at this, man. You, so this is how this works, folks. You, if you, we're at 115.01. If you launch 116, guess what? There's no reason we can't go to 130. Man, that would be intense. Let me bring this back further. Come on, get your thinking cap on, man. Let's go. There it is. Okay, so it already launched. Oh, I see. It already launched 114. <laughs> wow. This thing is telling me, and I guess, <laughs> uh, hey, Dave in Chicago, <laughs> you stay right where you are, man, meaning in that OIH, because what's going on here, man, this looks like, this is unbelievable, actually. This looks like it's launching. It did really. It launched the 114, 115. That's saying that this oil contract wants to go to 147, man. Uh, particularly this this launch, man. You're talking about something that you've launched going all the way back to uh, 2011. Yeah, it's oil. It's oil, so going higher, man. That that high is it's going to go after that high, and it looks like it wants to go after it right now. So it's going to be intriguing about that. That very well is what can basically get window dressing going. Get next. Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday going. Yeah, all those oil stocks are up. In fact, we will look at the Dow when we come back because that would push the Dow stocks very quickly. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow right now up uh, 481. NASDAQ's up 350. S&Ps are up 88. Now, check it out, man. This is pretty wild. GBTC, we gotta do this. We gotta do this most days, uh, whether it's uh, just a fast get going to it. So this is a great, great scale Bitcoin trust. You gotta see this, man. I mean, today it hit, well, it, it's, right now it's, it's trading at a minus 30.937%, folks, okay? So the bottom line is that, what does that mean explicitly? Well, explicitly what it means is that Bitcoin, okay, is uh, XBT. Bitcoin is trading at 28,000, let's see, what. come on, baby, get up here, let's go. Yeah, 28,950. So what that is saying, okay, uh, 28,950, that's saying that if you buy the GBTC, you're buying it at 19,994. You know, this is going to be so cool watching how this whole thing shakes out. Um, and I'm not quite sure because I've never watched it this closely, meaning that I... Uh, I had watched it real closely when it had, this is you know, four or five years ago, when it had that big premium on the other side that came into whack. Now we're on the opposite side of that. So it's so intriguing that it's at a 31% negative premium. Think about that, man. It's like, okay, you know, if it's real, well, how does that work, right? I mean, it's not even close. Let's go take a look at the indice volume out here because, as I said uh, at the beginning of the show, my take, you're going to counter trend bounce. You're probably setting up a B to C of an ABC structure down. And, you know, all these volumes are going to be shot today. And the NYSE, we're probably going to do about 900 million on the composite. 
you're looking at the composite. We're going to do the composite. The composite's not going to be bad. The composite we're going to do about 4.8. So the composite is actually pretty good. Uh, the spy isn't. We take a look at the spy out here. The spy right now is running uh, at 67 million, and yesterday you did uh, 82. NDX 100. Now, if this can't make it, it's a it's a quicker problem in paradise. Um, that's at 59. I think you did 57 yesterday. Yes, you did 59 yesterday. Anyway. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning, 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, Tuesday morning. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Look at him, folks. Building